These are my Strike King S11s. Get your own. Hi, I'm Jimmy Mason, and welcome to Michiana Outdoors. I live, I'm from North Alabama area, so I was at ground zero when the Alabama rig first came out. Uh, I actually had the opportunity to get some about six months before Paul Elias won the tournament uh, at Gunnersville that really opened the door to it. So I've been throwing it for a long time and had opportunity to really, you know, see the potential of it. One neat thing about the, the Alabama rig style baits, this is a umbrella, is that you're only limited by your imagination on where to throw it, how to throw it, uh, and what you do with it. You know, one of the things that I've started doing the last couple of years and caught a lot of fish doing is fishing it in heavy cover. Um, you know, typically you see guys throwing weighted jig heads on it with open hooks, but you can actually rig these things weedless and throw them in the heaviest cover, you know, in, in vegetation, throw it into lay down trees, brush piles, and fish it just like a spinnerbait and catch a lot of big fish. This one here, so this is the, the Flash Mob Junior from Yom. And I've got it rigged with, with one weighted swim bait hook in the center and then four unweighted worm hooks on the outside. Um, so this is a very light bait. That's a, this, it's a 16th ounce. It gives it just a little bit of weight in the center where it doesn't tumble as bad when you're casting. You can make a more accurate cast. Um, and this is a, a five inch Yum Money Minnow. And it's a heavier swim bait as well. So, that's the main that's the main bait and that's going to be the bait that gets the catches the most fish the outside baits are just little swim baits that have a four alt mustad grip pin hook uh, to hold them in place it's a really it's a really strong hook but uh but these the outside baits don't catch near the fish probably 80 percent of the fish that you'll catch will come on the umbrella or on the uh the money minnow in the middle uh, but I'll treat it just like a spinnerbait. I mean, I look for isolated logs, isolated laydowns, you know, lines of vegetation, and I'm going to throw it right in the middle of it. And by having them rigged, Texas rig style like this, it's not going to hang very little at all. You know, occasionally you'll hang it up uh, in the V's of branches, but from a hook standpoint, it's going to be very weedless. Um, and it's one of those deals that the fish that you haven't seen that that presentation near very much you know most of the time you see guys throwing it on points throwing it in open water uh, but those fish up in, up in the rivers up and around the heavy cover you know haven't seen near as much but it's something you can really attack the cover with now i, I will throw it on some little different tackle than typical this is a, a loose custom speed stick it's the 7-2 grass rod it's a fast action uh, fast tip it's a heavy action it's got a little shorter handle, so I'm able to make a little more accurate cast. It's not a true spinnerbait rod, but it's, you know, most of the time when I'm in open water, I'm throwing the, the umbrella on an eight-foot rod. But this allows me to make a much more accurate presentation. And I'm trying to, just like I'm, when you're fishing a spinnerbait around the heavy cover, I'm trying to get dead in the heart of it. So I'm trying to make a really accurate short cast with it. But try it out. It's, it's a great way to catch a lot of big fish that haven't seen this bait before.